He promised to be quick. The moonlight three and four tenths are pretty darn easy to set up once you know the one or two different things about them. Start with the poles. Take advantage of the fact that outdoors there's very seldom a ceiling and just assemble them right straight up. This is the main cross pole. It's the one with the two little elbows on it. It's the one that goes in first. This one's the small straight pole. That's the part of the eye pole that you'll be assembling. And this is the larger part of the eye pole that has the two three-way hubs on it that the uh, first one will be going into. Here's how you assemble the eye pole. You take the straight pole, the straight little one, and you take an end and slide it right into the hub. There's a socket there. Then you walk back to the other side, holding the whole assembly in your hand there. You sort of walk it back. And then here's the part you gotta pay attention to. You push the pole up against a firm surface like a rock, then you flex it and put the pole all the way into the socket. It's very important that the pole go all the way into the socket before you let go. And when you take the pole back apart, it's especially important to pull it all the way out before you let go of it. If it gets caught halfway, you could break the socket. Though we've designed features into it to avoid that. I like to get the stakes in and the tent laid out and stretched out before I put the poles in. Uh, you don't have to, but it works better in a wind. Here we're taking good advantage of the fact that it's a stake loop on an adjustable cord. So you could actually put a stake in up to almost a yard away from the corner of the tent if you had to. Uh, it really allows you to just get the stake where it needs to go and then just tighten it all right up. The pole end just pops right into the fitting there. It comes back out just by twisting it. Notice the orientation of the eye pole. There is an up and a down there. Then you set the frame up, get everything into position, and lock the poles together with the swivel CHLs, which are a DAC invention. This unitizes the whole frame. Little trick here, open the door so you can step your feet inside to reach that middle clip. There's a special clip to attach to the studs on the hubs. Regular clips you've seen, probably. We're going to be rigorously color coding everything. The cross pole and the eye pole will each have their own color, and all the webs for the clips and the corners will follow those colors. Voila, the tent. small technique point. Attach the rain fly to the corners with the webs loose first, then pull out the vestibules, then go around and tighten the corners. That's the basic setup. Next we'll show you some of the anchoring features. It's extremely important to anchor these tents well. They're quite strong and a strong enough wind can move the whole thing even with people and gear in them if they're not nailed down. Here's a little feature I love. So simple. Your stake loop is a little loop of cord on an ITW line lock buckle. So that makes it adjustable. Why adjustable? Well, have you ever had this happen where you take a stake and you've got the perfect spot for it, look at that, and you go like this and you go, uh-oh, I hit a rock. Now I can keep beating on it and it's not going to really go anywhere. Or I can just go back or forward or around till I find a spot where it can go in. Loosen it, tighten it. One of the themes of the Rugrat is I like to provide the same kind of rigging that I do personally. It takes like a half an hour to set up a regular tent 
with all the lines and all the adjustability that I like to have. These tents come with it right out of the box. The vestibules, of course, have adjustable long cords. These aren't just adjustable because we think you're going to put your, your stake a yard away. They're adjustable so that you can attach them to logs and rocks really easily without having to add any extra cord or dig in your pack for anything. This is a really easy way to anchor a tent to a rock. So let's do that. Here's a stick. There's a loop. You take the loop, pull it through so it becomes a slip knot essentially. Put it around the stick. That's not going to hold anything. Eh. Weak. Weak. Okay. That'll work. To really nail the tent down, you'll want to use the guy lines. And you can put each one of them in a little pouch so they don't get in the way. So when you really want to nail the tent down, you pull the guy line out. Put your stake in. Six to eight feet away from the tent actually works best. Wrap the guy line around. And here's why I love this adjuster. It just goes right on. You can put extra extra wraps for extra friction. And it just tightens right up. 